Yo, what is up guys, back again with another video. Uh, so it seemed that you guys really enjoyed my last uh, video about a month or two ago about my story time videos. And I'd just like to say that I appreciate the support because I really did enjoy making that last video. Uh, it was sort of a throwback to some of the best moments of my life. It felt really, really, really good to talk about things that I don't really talk to people about a lot. Especially if it's a way that I can get a laugh out of a lot of people. Uh, especially people that watch me, per se. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content you're seeing. Anyways, thank you guys again, and enjoy the video. So a lot of you don't know exactly where I live. Exactly what state I live. This, uh, United States of America. Now let's just say I live pretty much in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Now if I gave you a map, and I pointed it out to you, you probably still wouldn't be able to find out where I lived. Because it's just that small. That's exactly why why uh, parties would be a pretty good idea around here, I mean, there's really no cops to bust our asses, at least for the most part. So an FYI, I do not prohibit any of this behavior. Uh, these are just really, really, really dumb high school kids that they have absolutely no brain. That, like I said, there was no alcohol originally, but then something went extremely south from there, at least. Let's just say that my class is a very rowdy version of the Fellowship from Lord of the Rings. So before the school year ended, me and my class kind of planned this little get-together bonfire. I still kind of call it a party, though. Uh, this was this year before the end of my sophomore year, by the way. You guys are probably like, oh, you're still a junior. Yeah, I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm only a junior, right? Please don't flame me. All right, so we did end up finding out where it was then after that, and then the school year ended on that day. Uh, on the Sunday of that week, we had the, the party. I got off at work about 4.30 after a double shift, and then got there about 5-ish. And the guys, when I got there, they were out playing football in the front yard, uh, but I kind of wanted to fuck around with the fire. Uh, me and about two other guys were spraying oil over the fire and the girl hosting our party had this uncle and he probably saw the flames about five feet high because we were spraying it right at the fire and he was probably like what the hell is going on so he went outside and uh he asked us what the hell we were doing and we just played it off and then he did eventually leave us alone I'm back inside to the garage. We all just kind of like, uh, kept fucking around by the fire until everyone finally got over there. Sunset, at least. So eventually, as darkness took over the fields, the guys and the rest of the ladies playing football came over by the fire. I think there were about 16 or 17 of us at the time. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly, but we ended up listening to music for the longest time. I don't know how long it was, but I think it was at least like 20, 30 minutes. Then someone broke the silence by asking us to play a little game. So this game was just like, you know, what any regular high schooler would probably play. And, uh, it was Truth to Dare, of course. I uh, can't exactly remember a lot of what happened in that game, but I know I shoved a buddy in my trunk that night. I locked him in there and then waited about five minutes and took him out of the trunk. So when I figured out I still had uh, bottle rockets from the year prior for 4th of July. I forgot I left him in there. And so uh, it got a little boring after a while, so I asked the buddies and boys if they wanted to uh, fire off a little bit of bottle rockets, and they all said yeah, because yeah, it was pretty boring. I don't really know what else to say. Anyway, uh, someone grabbed a lighter off the trailer we were all sitting on and started lighting them off by hand and we weren't firing them at the air actually we were firing them at the girls instead <laughs> it just i don't know it makes it a lot more fun when you got girls screaming at you and chasing you when you're firing bottle rockets and yeah something else so this is where this went absolutely south so one of my classmates ended up leaving the party earlier and went back to her house uh, and she came back later absolutely just slammed not even just slightly intoxicated i mean extremely intoxicated I remember her saying that she drank like 13 shots of vodka and that just did not seem legit because if she drank 13 she would have been dead i'm not even i'm not even joking i mean that, at least that's what she told everyone at the party so one of my classmates ended up driving her back to the party not exactly sure why but it kind of screwed up the party for sure because set on trying to get her back to her house because why is she even at the party we're not even supposed to have alcohol in the first place let alone an extremely intoxicated 17 year old girl she ended up walking by me and by, like another person someone was holding her up because she like could barely stand up by herself we were walking over and she like tripped and almost fell into the fire and I, thank god I caught her because she would have fell into the fire. I'm lying. Threw her backpack uh, out of the car they drove in because it still had alcohol in it. We just like we grabbed a bunch of the gas that we still had left for the fire and we just doused it in gasoline and then we just torched it. We left nothing left for anyone to find. There was no trace. Then the extra bottle of alcohol, they, she left back um, outside somewhere. We, we just dumped it in the creek behind the house. And yeah, I, no one ever saw that thing ever again. I gotta say, all the girls at the party were actually reacting quite a bit. They did end up taking the classmate that was heavily intoxicated back home. Uh, this is where the girls were overreacting, started calling them several times to know that they weren't picked up by any cops because 
like I said, they're overreacting. They have no sense of how to settle their anxiety, so they, they just go crazy, I guess. Anyway, luckily, they no one got picked up by the cops. Luckily, like I said before, there was not a lot of cops that go around here, so that helps out quite a bit. <laughs> what I believe they told me is she got out of the car saying she had to throw up, and she tripped and fell into the ditch on the other side of the road or something. Uh, that's what I heard. It was another story for another time, I guess. I uh, honestly wish that I went with them in the car because I would have had a better story to tell. I'd make this a lot more pleasurable than it already is. I didn't actually get to go with them because they already had so many people with them. You know what? For a filler, I'm just going to leave you guys a video that I got from the party, but it's not really anything special. It's just really goofy. That's pretty much all that really happened at that party. Booze was prohibited, but of course, being in high school, many tend to run it as a rebel. Anyways, I appreciate you guys for watching this video. I really do like making these kinds of videos, and I'd like to continue making them. Uh, if we could get like 9 likes on this video, I know it's possible. Make videos constantly like I did this summer. Uh, it'd be something, I guess. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe. I do love you guys. Peace.